Hey guys, this is here with a brand new potion room today. And if you use a lot of potions, then this build is for you. It's very easy to use. You got your six base potions along this wall. You have your four modifiers over here. For example, I'm gonna use level two and splash potion, and I'll make potion of strength. But just note this does not include a regen. If you want to add a regen, it'd be very easy to do. You'll probably find it unnecessary. Um, the reason I don't have regen is because it does not brew one potion at a time, it brews 27 potions at a time. So you'll get 9 of each ingredient and then 27 glass bottles, which, do some math quick, that'll fill up your entire inventory, not including your hot bar, or it'll fill an entire small chest worth of potions. It's really good for um, just stocking up your potion collection. Also, it's very easy to restock. I just added a little door right here. Get up to this room. You can easily access all your dispensers up here. So it's very easy to restock. Um, just note there's three um, dispensers for glass bottles and one for nether wart. Um, and then also note that there's ice along this little route here. Um, the reason for that is that items travel faster on ice, and then you can you don't have to make them go down a block. They can keep traveling on the same level. <coughs> So that's why I use ice to keep it a little more compact. So you have to wait to 1.3 if you want to build this in survival. Let's go take a look at the redstone. It's pretty big, but it's not terrible for what it does. Um, the white wool here is RS Norlatch Array. Basically, any button you press, it's just going to extend the respective piston right here. And that piston pushes the gravel block up to complete the circuit for the main dispensers. Also, anytime you press an RS nor latch, it's going to hit this red line here, which activates a monostable circuit starting at clock. The clock is hooked directly to a counter right here. So, as soon as you hit any RS nor latch, this counter is going to start while it's hooked to this clock. So, every time the clock goes around, this adds um, one unit. And then the signal right here is taken up to add to your dispensers. So, every time that clock goes around, it hits one time. Um, you need a three tick delay on your first set of repeaters here, so it's actually going to hit the dispenser properly. And this line travels around, you don't need any more ticks over here, and it just travels around to all your ingredients. The wiring for the levers are, is really simple. Um, oh, and then finally, uh, the output of your counter here, it's going to reset the clock by pulling this block out. It's going to reset the counter itself by turning this torch off. It's going to reset all your RS Nor latches. Well, only one RS Nor latch, but the reset the RS Nor latches right there. I'll show you that in action quick. It's right there. This is extended. It's receiving its pulse from the count or it's from the clock right there. And you saw that reset. One more time. You can see it just adds one gravel block every time, and then it hits the reset line, which resets everything. So yeah, it's pretty easy to build once you understand how it works. If a, if anyone needs a tutorial, let me know, and I can do one. Um, it's obviously just an overview of the build, but I find this very useful in survival for brewing potions, because I use a lot of potions, and this is just great for keeping good stock. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hope this helped.